Hey, they're reaching for the stars on Cape Cod, an out-of-this-world science experiment that had grade school students on the edge of their seats and on the edge of space. The project at the Bourne Middle School taught kids much more than just astronomy, physics, and math. Those were incredible pictures. They launched a NASA-approved balloon in northwestern Connecticut that touched down hundreds of miles away on Cape Cod. And tonight, Bill Shields takes us on the chase that landed with a lesson in teamwork. Spectacular pictures from the edge of space, right over New England. And who do you figure took these pictures? NASA? Nope. These guys. We have a spot tracker and then we have a main tracker. Spot tracker is just for backup, just in case the other one freezes up. Fifth graders at the Bourne Middle School. Is it fun? Yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Early in the morning on the Connecticut-New York border, the launch team filled the balloon with helium as their classmates watched back at school. The balloon would carry a camera almost 100,000 feet high. Three, two, one. It rose through the atmosphere, and on the edge of space, the helium balloon exploded. A parachute deployed, and wind currents took the payload with its camera back towards the Cape. Just to realize that. Uh, the horizon really isn't a boundary. They can do whatever they want to do. The fifth graders have been working on this for months. Now they were tracking the camera as it got closer to Earth. Plymouth Harbor and Boston Harbor came into view. Traveling at 105 miles an hour, the parachute in the box took only about two hours to land on Sandy Neck in Barnstable. <laughs> now the recovery team took off. Barnstable Ranger Doug Kelwitt drove the kids several miles into the dunes. I want to make sure that we're all in this together. Point 16. Foster Rubenstein had a GPS tracker, and shortly, they found the payload. This is the GPS unit, and the wire connects out to here. And for us to accomplish it is really cool, because a lot of people didn't think that we were going to be able to do it. <laughs> It was bringing it to real life, that's for sure. They conceived the project. NASA gave them some money, and these kids put a camera in space and retrieved it. In Bourne, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Wow, huge applause for the class. The pictures from this project are truly out of this world.